Hello guys, Lord Gusnail are back again with another video and today it's finally time for the second part of my settings guide and today I will show you guys some settings that will definitely help with your movement in game and therefore general mechanics. So I hope you guys will enjoy the video. So I remember back in the days when Epic Games added a update which pretty much made so that your jump button, you can actually press it and you can look around at the same time. Now, if you are a two-finger noob player, this is of course a pretty good feature to have so you can actually jump and look around at the same time. But if you are a more sophisticated six-finger claw player or above, this feature is an absolute pain in the ass. So what pretty much happened was that sometimes when you just built or just did 90s like this, and then you just stopped looking around for some reason because the jump button took over the look around feature and you didn't have any control just looking around normally. Now that could definitely bottleneck your skills and gameplay. So it actually happened to be that Fortnite added a feature where you can turn this off. And that is by having click through turn off. And now pretty much you can have your jump button pressed in and still look around. So yeah, now I would definitely double check if you have this setting off because at least for me when I have this feature on sometimes it can really mess up my gameplay. So make sure you have it off. Now let's actually go into some other interesting new settings and one of them is actually just about the joystick. So if you go down here to joystick properties you can see that there is a setting called dynamic stick. Now, if you have this feature on, what will happen is that wherever you put your finger on the screen, the joystick will follow to the same position. Now, this is pretty much how the joystick have always worked in Fortnite. However, I actually think it's better to have this setting off. And the reason being is that I think it's better for the muscle memory if the joystick is in the same position all the time because your finger placement on the screen will be more consistent. Now, there are actually a few more settings that you can tweak on your joystick and one of them is size. So what I like to do is to play with a very small joystick but have the dead zone very high. I always feel like on mobile that you tend to move around too much just like accidentally even if it sometimes actually can be pretty good to just stand still but still have your finger on the joystick especially if you're trying to do some accurate peaks like this on top of that i also prefer the joystick to be very small because that means that whenever you're building around and doing cool stuff like this you don't actually have to move your finger around that much to be able to have a full 360 degree movement and just the reason as we have a dynamic joystick this is actually very beneficial because our finger is now more consistently in the same position and we don't actually have to move around our thumb that much which in my opinion actually make you misclick less and make you build more consistent mechanics. So yeah, I think that it would just be fair to show these settings in some creative one with ones If this guy- oh sorry. Ah! Oh. It was a mistake, I wanted to wake up. Yeah, either way, let's showcase these settings in some 1v1 one -one build fight. Okay. See, if this guy is too good, it won't really make for too good of a gameplay. Come on. Oh, missed. Okay, still got him though. Still got him. Oh, come on. Ooh, that's dangerous. Oh, yeah, let's go. We got him again. Oh, no, it didn't shoot. Ah, that was a stupid retake there. Come on. Oh, my aim. Where is my aim at? Oh, nearly got my cone on him. 
Nah, he will get me this time. Or will he? Oh, tried to utilize a right hand peek there, but missed. No, oh, no, 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 no. That's very noobish of me. Forgot to pull my gun out. Yeah, he left. GG's 2 1 to me. Let's see if we can find another opponent. Yeah, let's go. We have this new guy here hitting hard. Can we get another shot off? Where is he? He's right here. Oh, come on. Here we go. No, he plays the ramp. Good play by him. Yeah, he's dead now. Haha. <laughs> the mobile aim assist got him finished. Okay, we got him again. This guy seems to be a little bit more pro than the previous one. Woo! Oh, nice cone. No. Oh my god, this is so... No, I can't mess that up, please! That's so stressful. So noobish. But he's still low HP. Can we go from the side here? No! Okay, fair play, fair play. Come on, come, 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 no! He did it. Come on. Let's go, we got him! That's nice. Okay, let's see. Oh, he actually knows how to play this. No! Too slow. Nice peek. Edit. Oh, that's a nice kill there in it, guys. What was that? Well, either way, guys, I think we're going to wrap this video up. I'm getting a bit tired and I need to take my Fortnite rest break. You know how it is. Right, let me just try to get him one more and boom. Yeah, that's good. But yeah, as I said, time to go and rest a bit because my fingers are a bit tired. And I need some protein powder for them as well. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that these settings will help you guys in your own Fortnite gameplay. And until next time, have a great rest of your day, guys.